put it into my timeline and I want to know when exactly was it plus size girls? The delusion is just impressive at this stage. This is obese privilege because for a person to not see that in the last four or five years we have made it almost illegal to tell a person like, hey, maybe it's in your best interest not to have that fifth donut today because you're 300 pounds and on insulin already. Uh, we have literally catered to obesity to a, such an extent that it caused our society to need to shut down because we are literally in the throes of a pandemic that is problematic for elderly people and fat people. And we've just completely ignored, completely ignored the fat people portion of it. We have talked about how everybody is almost at the same risk, knowing we know that obese people and elderly people are the target of the pandemic. We know this. It is data. It is fact. It is stats. We have ignored the obese part because we got to save your fee-fees. It has been plus girl size day when we a couple years ago, put Tess Holliday on the magazine cover and called her strong and fit when she could barely fucking walk. It has been plus girl size day when Lizzo is praised for being brave when she eats fried Oreos and is vegan and 300 pounds and we call that healthy. That is fat people's day. It has been fat people's day for long enough that it has caused society to have to cater to people during a time when young healthy people are at almost no risk but fat people and elderly people are at risk. That's how much we've catered to fat people. To then sit there and pretend you don't see how it's been your time, how it's been plus size people's time for the last five fucking years is obese privilege like I've never fucking seen before. Get over yourselves, get healthy and realize we have accommodated you to the point where we are hurting the fabric of society. It is time for all of you to get healthy. God damn.